Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we'll see example for a simple for loop that we learned in the previous session. In module 18, we have learned how to write a for loop and uh, saw different ways of writing a for loop and we saw some examples. Now in this program, in this lesson, what we'll do is we'll see a simple example for a for loop, how to read a number from user and find sum of n natural numbers. That means if you read a number five from the user, we have to find sum of numbers from one to five. That is one plus two plus three plus four plus five. So this is, that's the program that we have to do using for loop now. So I would suggest everyone to practice this after you watch this video and see if you can get the output or not. And that means if the user enters number 20, we have to print the sum of numbers from one to 20 and display the sum as answer. So let's do this in Eclipse IDE and let's get started. Okay, so now I just open Eclipse IDE and let's get started with the program. The first thing that I need is I need to store sum. So what I'll do now int sum is equal to zero because I want to store sum. So I declared a variable sum equal to zero and I want to read a number n from the user. So I'll write n and also I need to loop through. So I'll write i. So before I explain this, I'll just open and explain you in MS Paint what is the logic that I'm going to follow. So let me open MS Paint. Now what I will do is, let's take the number that I'm going to read is five. So now just put here five. And what I have to do now, let's take a variable sum and I'll just write sum is equal to zero. Now what I'll do is I have to write a for loop from one, two, three, four, five. So because I need to add numbers from one to five, so that's our requirement. One plus two plus three plus four plus five. If the user enters six, I have to add up to six. So from one to n, I have to write a for loop and Every first time i is equal to one. So first time i equal to one. Now I need to add this i value to sum. So sum equal to sum plus zero plus one. So that'll become one. And again, I need to add i value becomes two. So I need to add this to sum. i value becomes three. I need to add this to sum. i value becomes four. I need to add this to sum. And i value becomes five. I just need to add this to the sum. So every value of i, I have to keep on adding to some value, some variable, and I just need to print the sum. So let's see how we can do it. I'll explain this in Eclipse IDE. Let's go to Eclipse IDE now. Let's try to understand. So first I need to read the number from the user. So I'll write a comment here, read data from user. Now, how do we read it? All of you know it, we need to create an object for scanner. And because I need to read a uh, scanner, OBJ is equal to new scanner. And I'll write here system.in. Now, now I'm getting an error. The red line indicates that error. So what I have to do now, I need to import the scanner, java.util.scanner, click on this. Now I just imported the scanner, java.util.scanner, so the red line is gone. The orange lines in, or yellow lines, indicates that it's a warning because we are not used the variables yet. That's okay. Now what we have to do now, so here I need to ask user to enter number. SYSO control space, enter any number. Now, whatever number user enters, I have to store it in a variable. So n is equal to obj dot next int because we use next int for storing integer and, and then we put here semicolon. We're done. Now, what we have to do now, we need to write a for loop to find sum. So find sum. So what we have to do now, I have to find sum from one to n. So I have to write a for loop for for i is equal to one, i less than or equal to n up to five, i plus plus. Now what happens, i value will start from one and if user enters five, i value loop up to five. So every time this value, this loop iterates, I have to add that i value to sum. So sum is equal to sum plus i. So now, now what happens in this case, first I initialize sum zero, make sure that you initialize to sum zero and first time i value is one. So here, if you see, first time sum will be zero, i value becomes one, zero plus one, so sum becomes one. And again, it'll come here, i becomes two, already sum is one, so one plus two, i value becomes three. Again, it'll go here, i value becomes uh, two, so three plus, um, so like this, it'll loop. So one plus two plus, one plus two plus three plus four plus five. So like this, every time i value increases, we keep on adding this uh, into sum. First time it'll add one, and then it'll add uh, one plus two, it'll become three, and then it'll add three, so it'll become six, and then it'll add four, it'll become 10, and then it'll become 15. 
Now, let's try to debug this and understand how it really works. Right? Let's let's put a breakpoint here. And I need to print the sum here, SYSO control space. I'll just put here sum. So to understand this very clearly, it's a good practice to debug it. Now let's say this. I'll put a breakpoint here. I've explained how to put a breakpoint. So here I want to put a breakpoint. Just double click on this. So the blue dot indicates a breakpoint. Now how to debug this code? Click on this run and and here you can click on this debug. Now let me click on this debug. Click OK. Now first it'll ask me to enter a number. So I'm entering here 5. Enter. Now for loop came here. You can see I value is uh, as of now. Let me put uh, F6. Press F6 now. And yeah. I just pressed F6. Now you can see here I value is uh, 1. And uh, some value initially is 0. Because I initialized here 0, some value. So it is it is not yet executed this. So some value is 0 now. So now after it, it this line got executed, some becomes 1. So now if I press F6 now, you can see now the sum value. When I move the mouse on this, you can see sum is 1. Now I value becomes now 2. So when I press F6 now, let me press F6. Now this time I value is 2. Already sum is 1 because it added 1. Now sum is 1, 1 plus 2. So now if I, after executing this, now let me press F6 now. You can see now the sum value will be 3. Now this time I value will come as 3 now. So let me press F6. Now this time I value is uh, 3. All these sum is 3. It will add 3 now. So like this it will loop through. And let me execute this. And now it will be printing. Uh, let me stop this. So like that the process continues. And it will add all the values and display the sum. Okay. So now let's run this code. And let's see what will be the output now. I'm entering 5. Enter. You can see 15. Now if I run this code. Now let's enter. Now this time I'll enter 3. 3 means it should print 1 plus 2 plus 3. So it'll print 6. Enter. It's printing 6. So I hope all of you are clear with writing this program and how to find some of n natural numbers using a simple for loop. And please do practice it and see if you can get the output and make sure that you get this output. In case if you get some error, please make sure you fix it. Or um, in case if you still cannot resolve it, feel free to add in the comment section. I will be responding for it. Okay. So thank you and see you in the next module.